Okay, so now we're going to do opportunity new signal. So this means when an opportunity is identified via Zoom Info Scoops, is then it will trigger the workflow. So to get started, let's click try it now. So when there is a pain point or a project scoop, and you can select which one you want to do. In this case, I'm going to do pain point and project related to your selected departments. So we can do get rid of everything but C-suite, marketing, operations, and sales, then apply the relevant filters. So in this case, let's set up software with a headcount of 1,000 to 5,000. I don't care about the financials in this case, but if I did, I'd find it here. And the same for company attributes and type and model. And I want the location to be in the United States. I don't care if there's technology in this case, but if I were to, I'd simply search and add the technology that I want. So now I'm going to click apply. Now it's very important to note, this will determine how many book credits you use right here. So limit the amount of rolled companies. So in this case, I'm going to do 25 per day. So this means it'll run on a daily basis and look for 25 companies and then export 25 companies if it's found. 25 companies and up to the amount of contacts you select. And you can also adjust it from daily to weekly. Hill. So I'm going to discover up to five contacts and I'm going to apply the relevant filters. Now, it's very important to note when you're selecting your company and contact filters in workflows, treat it just like you would an advanced search. So if you use buying committee, select buying committee for your specific job titles, you wanna be very, very targeted. I'm going to do C-level and we will get rid of everything but marketing, operations, sales, and just CEO. So for contact information, because this is using bulk credits, I want this to be very, very high quality information. And I'm going to require them to be mobile, direct, and business emails. They need to have a mobile phone number, a direct phone number, and a business email versus a mobile phone number or a direct phone number or business email. And you do that by selecting all. So for location, I'm going to do the United States, and then I'm going to click apply. Then once it finds that, it's going to export the record as a company and contact to your selected user. In this case, I'm going to do myself. If you have users in multiple territories and multiple different markets, you simply select and assign to the relevant users and make sure you configure it for that user for the trigger and the action on a company and contact filter level. Now <clears throat> we're going to turn the workflow on and close it. Now this is live, this will start executing. Now since we just created it, there's no data here, but once there is data, it'll populate in this dashboard. If we go over to an example I set up over here, is down here, you can see we have 7.44 thousand tasks, bulk credits used and executed on one single day. Now I set this up incorrectly on purpose to show you what happens when you don't set it up correctly. It's very, very important to make sure you limit how many companies are enrolled and limit how many contacts are exported. So for here, if we go back to workflow list, we can edit the one we just created by clicking edit workflow and we can rename it up here. So we'll do test opportunity, new signal test. And if I didn't configure this correctly, I can adjust it here. In this case, I set it up, I want it to run on a daily basis and export up to 25 companies per day and up to five contacts per company. And then we turn the workflow on and it's all set up. So this is what a completed opportunity new signal workflow looks like.